Hi, welcome to the first episode of Weekend Warrior DIY. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean out a bathroom fan. I have a Delta fan there. Uh, the first couple steps I'm just going to kind of run through. Um, most fans are fairly similar. Um, so I'll take you through it and uh, basically we're moving the top pieces and uh, um, unscrewing the motor, cleaning it out as best we can and reassembling it. Uh, hadn't been cleaned in probably eight or nine years and it was uh, there was a lot of dust in it but it was pretty simple once I got all the parts out so as you can see the vent is right above me I'm just gonna be uh, starting with uh, taking off the cover so this part just pinches out just pinch in one end and push and the little plastic cover comes off light bulb comes out first one screw right in the middle here every fans different I'm sure but most of them come off more or less the same way so I've had this cover off previously so uh, it'll come out pretty easily but a lot of times these fans get stuck to the uh, the, the paint if they've been on for a while so you got to kind of jimmy them just a little bit to get them unstuck from the paint and once it's done, it will uh, expose the rest of the fan. And we can get to the parts and take it apart from there. There's a little alligator clip here. To unscrew the light. This attaches right there. And I haven't had to undo, or I haven't had to flip the breaker on this yet, but I will. As you can see, there's the fan. It has two motors. Uh, this one here uh, is the fan for the heater and this one there is the one that blows the um, vent and blows out all the steam from the shower and that's the one that was really really dirty I took them I had to take this one out and unscrew this little bolt here uh, to get these both out um, and then I took this out and cleaned it off and I'll show you how to do that later but I'm going to show you where the screws on mine are to take this off there's a screw right there a screw right there and a screw up in there and then the motor will just drop out for us and we'll get it cleaned here's the actual fan uh, and you can see it's it's got some dirt, uh, a lot of dirt, and I've been trying to clean it out with a uh, tooth. Oh, I'm sorry, a, a paintbrush, but that has uh, only worked to a certain extent. Um, so I'm going to try something else here in a little bit, maybe a little stiffer brush. But you can see the fan turns in there, and um, it should be pretty easy to clean out. I'll get to that in a little bit. In order to get into the vent, I actually had to take out the uh, heater fan as well. So. It was a, a, a process to take everything out, and I'll show you. Each the, the fan itself, the blower has three screws. You can see one there, a one up in there, and there's one back in there that you can kind of access to uh, fairly easily. Um, and there's a little slot that attaches to the uh, heater. Um, so putting it back in was pretty simple. Uh, it didn't come all the way out. It was uh, there's some electrical stuff there that I didn't want to mess with. That was um, soldered together. So I removed the fan. So I took a brush and cleaned out each one of these grooves as best I could. I didn't want to use any water because on the other side of this, in there, there's some circuitry even though I took off the steel top I didn't want to get any water in there I might use a damp cloth a little bit more to get it in there but uh, that there was a ton of dust caked on there so thanks for watching the first episode of weekend warrior DIY I hope that provided a little guidance I know it wasn't spectacularly complicated um, but basically you just need to uh, switch off the circuit breaker uh, figure out how things come out. In my case, it was two fans. Uh, the uh, heater needed to be 
um, moved out of the way and taken out before I could get the other fan out. So it was three screws in one, three screws in another. Take it out, remove the housing, and then just um, brush out as much dust as possible. I needed to use uh, a damp brush to get mine out since it hadn't been um, cleaned in nine or ten years. It was really caked in there. Um, put it all back in, everything fit back in fine, and um, the, the, you can definitely tell the difference between a clean fan motor and one that has eight years of dust buildup. So uh, check back. Um, I am not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I've owned homes for nearly 30 years, so I know uh, some stuff, and hopefully I can provide a little more guidance on some other issues in the near future. Thanks for watching.